Hello guys and welcome to uh, today's video. Today we are out in the forest to look for our materials and today's materials will be some Danish maple. Um, it's for our spoons and butter knives and bowls and all that and maple is a very nice uh, tree to, to work with. Um, please uh, hit the like and subscribe button for more uh, nice woodcraft videos. So the wood or material we are looking for needs to be straight grown, that's very important. We don't need any side branches or dead, side, dead branches inside or notches. It's very important it's straight grown and actually here there is a very nice tree to look at. Um, but before we are looking more on that we will take a look on some other trees that are very, very bad uh, to use. So. This is also maple, but the problem with this tree is that you have this um, kind of curve and actually you don't know if there's any hidden surprises in it. I think there might be some dead branches inside here and then it's, um, it's a bit more, bit more damaged. Um, so I think the first meter of this tree is a bit bad, but the rest of it looks very nice and very straight grown. So when you are in a forest and you are sourcing your material, um, you have to get some permission to cut down some trees. So always ask the landlord um, to, to, to get that permission. So I use uh, this folding saw from Silgi, uh, Katana Boy, and it's a beast. Um, it's your 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 manual chainsaw. Um, so I, I I use this when I when I'm in the forest and needs to cut down some pretty large trees. Yes, well, let's cut it down. Um, so now I've cut down the tree and um, I mean look at this there's so much material for our or for my uh, spoons and bowls and all that the things I make um, and now I'm going to show you why it's so important to have the straight grown because we're going to split some of the wood now to get the even nice pieces for our straight nice spoons. So now the only thing we need is to put the axe on the pith and then give some pretty nasty beatings with the with with one of the other locks to split it
So now I have split the lock and um, it didn't really go after the plan. It was a bit more difficult to split it. Um, and that's normal when you have the bottom of the tree. That's a bit more fibrous and a bit more twisted. So yeah, a lot of work and I'm still pretty exhausted. But uh, I mean, now we split it and there's a lot of spoons again. And probably some of the bigger bowls for my for my lathe, uh, for my lathe. So now we got this and some other, and I think I'm ready to uh, to take it all home and proceed from there. So um, short video about salvaging and picking your um, material in the woods. Take care.